playing around with curls and short hair can sometimes be a nightmare, but I'm going to go step by step and show you exactly how to get this look with your hair. Also, towards the end of this video, I do have a little life update slash catch up if you want to know what's been going on. And please keep on watching till the end of this video, but let's get straight into it. So the first thing to need is some dry shampoo. If your hair's not particularly oily or you don't really like volume as much, you can totally skip on this step. Then you're also going to need some hairspray as well. Now I have done this without hairspray because I actually lost my hairspray for quite a while and it did work, but just remember that your curls probably won't hold as well or your hair might also be quite annoying. And last but not least, you're gonna need some sort of curling device this is literally just a cheap one this one has a clamp but I don't even use it and you can use a like curl secret as well I've done it with that but I just find that this is the easiest way to get the curls that I want to also before we jump straight into the tutorial I usually find that my hair works best second day if it's straight out of the shower and washed I find that my hair is like too fluffy and it doesn't hold the curls as well your hair could be completely different to start off this tutorial we are going to blast our hair with some dry shampoo so we're also going to clip our hair half up half down now please don't forget to also dry shampoo shampoo that bottom half of your hair. Do your top part first. Now it might also make more sense me actually doing it, so let's freaking do it. Also film your TikTok at the same time. So I always just let the dry shampoo sit in there for about 20 to 30 seconds and then I massage it into my hair until I can feel it getting tacky. I will then clip that part of my hair up into like half up, half down. Once you've got it half up, half down, I will usually just do like a little scrunch. It doesn't have to be neat at all, quite messy. I'm just going to attack this with some dry shampoo as well. So you want the bottom bit to be voluminous as well. And also underneath, because I go to the gym quite a bit, so I'm very sun today. The curler that I use, it's literally just a cheap VS Sassoon one. If I did have more money and curl my hair regularly, I'd probably invest in a GHD, but this does the trick for right now. Just so I can show you nice and easily on camera, I basically grab out this much hair, a decent chunk but not too much then what I do is sometimes twist it as well if there's not too much hair then I grab the barrel of this it does have a clip but I find that every time that I use that the curls never turn out and then I place it as close to the root as possible and usually down the end of the barrel and I just twist my hair around it and then I also just like sort of bring it in so that I can get higher up and I hold that for about 10 seconds and then I focus it like that I literally just unfold it and then you want to leave that curl sitting just like that so if I isolate it that's what it looks like and then you're basically just going to do that for the rest of your hair and to get these really low parts as well sometimes you have to get your head in some pretty weird angles like I said before just wrapping it around and then doing that little pull back in holding it for 10 seconds and then letting it out be careful because you are around your face so you don't burn yourself you can see it's all starting to curl really nicely so I'm just gonna go do the rest of it and I'll be back to style this bit so I've done the other side and I hair sprayed it as well so we're going to take down this little top part here and then divide that into two and then start curling that it is a little bit of a different procedure for the top of it just because you're working with your roots up there so I will show you that in just a second now that you have a hold of this you just want to clip all the hair that you've curled just so you can put it to the back okay, now your hair is looking super crazy you can just brush it forward because we're going to repart it anyway and then you're going to divide it into two and then perfectly part the top of it oh you're really getting some high angles during this part of my hair really doesn't want to go but we'll work with that later and you can get the straightener if you need it always suggest starting from the back go grabbing the piece of hair at the back so that you can work your way forward and you don't miss any spots especially when doing it by yourself because doing your hair by yourself is same again usually with the back I start from as close to the top as possible and then wrapping it around the whole way and doing the same thing that we did before and also 10 seconds as well see and then you should get a curl then I like to try and put it to the side so that I can grab the next bit and we can do the exact same thing now when it comes to the top part this is where you have to be careful to so see how my hair starts there you want to start curling from about there so pretty much just where that color is so that there's like a nice fade see that's like the perfect curl for there and then just make sure that you don't forget any of these bits underneath with this bit you just want to sort of curl those like end bits and you don't really want to do this bit so you just want to go from the curler there and sort of twist them outward and we're going to leave this and hairspray and then go and do the other side now whenever I curl my hair like this I'm like oh my god it looks crazy this is not going to turn out but once you brush it all out it looks sweet as go and do the other side now and I'll hop back on camera when this side is done okay we are back I have popped some makeup on and we are ready to take out my hair clearly this is going to be like a glow up from when we first started this video to now but I'm actually really stoked with how my makeup turned out see I just clipped it up just to get it out of my face so I can get makeup on it but we're going to take it down and brush it out and then we can see what it looks like. I'm just going to grab a fine tooth comb. My favorite one's actually gone missing so we have to use mom's one. She's just going to take this and pull it through and drag those curls out. How satisfying is that brushing it out? This side of my hair always turns out so much better because this is like the easiest side to do. So we have this side that we want to do something with so that we can make it look 
super cute. So now I'm going to show you how to style this. It's usually a play around with pieces that I'm thinking about clipping up to make it look a little bit nicer and whatnot. So it's a little bit hard to do that on camera because my mirror is like completely blocked. So I'm going to grab a little mirror and do it. All right, and we are back. So this is the finished look. I literally just played around with it and curled it and then I literally tucked it behind my ears. Now you can slick this back with a little bit of hairspray, which I might actually do. Let's grab this and spray it. Now that we have finished the hair tutorial, I really want to get into a life update and catch up with you all just because a few things have happened in my life and I really want to just sit down and chat about it. I was going to make this a whole separate video, but I thought, you know what, while we're here, we're going to do it in today's video. I think in my last sit down catch up video, I was going to university and I think I had just broken up with my ex-boyfriend. So now to give you a little recap, it's been a few months since then, I'm doing a whole lot better. And that's not to say that I don't have bad days because I have had quite a hectic week or two weeks. I feel like my mental health has kind of taken a little bit of a toll, but we're really getting back there and now I realize that like if I'm going to see my therapist like I was I need to keep up with regular appointments but my next appointment isn't until a month so I do know how to handle my mental health as well but I think what I really needed was just like a break from everything just some time to like actually sit down and do everything that I want to. Gyms are back open because we did go into a mini lockdown here in Perth which I actually had quite a nice time spending it with Hamish. He was super lovely and we pretty much stayed at his house the entire time. I've also been making a hell of a lot of TikToks. Now I know that I said at the start you that that was something that I really wanted to get into and also focusing on my YouTube and my Instagram but I guess I never really did and that's just me being completely honest how do I expect things to grow if I wasn't putting in the effort it's been about a week since I've actually religiously been like you know what I'm doing this and YouTube I've been posting on here pretty much every week but I do find that the quickest way to sort of grow or get your name out there at the moment is TikTok and I've really been working hard at doing that so I will put my TikTok name on the screen if you guys want to see I pretty much upload every single day on there all random different types of videos like cooking, day in the lives, also makeup, also little mini tutorials. So if you want to see stuff first and see what I'm up to firsthand, then please go follow me over there. And then I also try to daily upload on my Instagram and that is also things that I'm up to more positivity and I'm going to do a poll on my Instagram tonight to see what content you all want to see more of because obviously if you're following me, it is as much as what I want to do, but I do want to share parts of my life that other people want to see. If I don't get the feedback, it's hard for me to know what everyone would like to see. So as much as it's for me it's also for everyone who's following me as well this is amazing that i can share on a platform like this and that we have this around in our day <laughs> It's just like, eh. Anyway, I feel like I'm getting off topic with that. I know in my last update, I was chatting to you guys about me studying at uni. I just want to let you all know that I did end up dropping out before the semester ended. I did want to do the whole semester and just get through it and then decide if I wanted to go back. But I was just emotionally and mentally exhausted in that time. And I was like, I don't even really want to be doing university. So I did have this little compilation of like vlogs of me studying. And I was going to share that with you guys. But I also might come out with a I quit uni. Because I know it's actually quite challenging and tough that if you are going through time and you're thinking about dropping out but there's so much like societal pressure to like sort of stay in it but what I want to do is I want to share my experience so that if you're going through the same thing you don't have to feel any of that guilt and there is also one big topic that I do want to talk about that is going to be its whole separate video basically if I can give you a little hint I did mention it in one of my other videos where it was like a chit chat get ready with me and I was sort of talking about Duality. and you can probably guess it from that but I don't want to give too much away but if you want to see that make sure keep an eye out on my channel I just want to share that story because when I went through it and like as I'm going through it it's still such a confusing weird time and I understand for people that are going through it how they feel and yeah it's just, just so much anxiety and stress around it even though like so many people say to you no it's okay it's fine and I've definitely been someone that's been like who cares just be who you are but then when it's happening to you and you're about to come out you're like ah so yeah that is another video that I want to sit down and fully share my story with so yeah look out for that so that was just a quick life update for you guys. Obviously, I'll dive into things in complete different video. I just wanted to sort of give a little broad topic and let you guys know how I'm going. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.